So in this case, we are going to consider the five number summary as we have a distribution or a certain data that we are given. Uh, remember, a five number summary is a method for summarizing that distribution. All right. And also we're going to consider the box and the whisker plot. All right. So just a recap, guys. This is from our grade 10 so that we do not miss any part. The five number summary, as I said, it is used basically to summarize. All right. So is used to summarize as we have got uh, the summary there. So that is to summarize uh, a distribution. A distribution of data, of given data. That is um, the most important part that you must understand is used to summarize a distribution of what? Of data. So already we have referred to these all right, the five numbers, the, the five numbers, guys, we have already talked about this when we were talking about the ungrouped data, when we were referring to the measures of central tendency, the measures of dispersion, the measures of position, we talked about, we referred one or two of those numbers. One, we are going to need the minimum value. These numbers are, so these are, we're going to have the minimum value, the minimum value according to the information that you are given, two, three, four, five, in the order of size. The minimum value, that is the starting point where you are starting from, the minimum value. The maximum, the end, when these numbers are in, they must be in order first of size, ascending order of size. All right? Then we determine or we must have the first quartile, which is the lower quartile. All right? So the lower quartile or the first uh, quartile, which is what? Which is Q1. Then number three, we refer to the median, the second quartile, which is the median value. All right, that's our Q2. We also need the upper quartile of the information. So we're going to also need the upper quartile, which is uh, the last quarter or the third quarter that we have uh, in terms of the distribution. That is our Q3. And the last part being the maximum value, all right? The fifth value, that is our maximum value. So all these numbers from a grade 10 mathematics, you dealt on how to calculate these. So you must distribute uh, each and every part. So already we discussed these from our grade 10. So recap everything. Understand all the basics. These are the same numbers that we are going to use on the box and whisker plot. The same numbers that are being represented on the box and whisker plot. All right, remember that. These are the same numbers. So remember, we're going to have uh, this part, the minimum. So this is our whisker. Then we're going to have the box here. Uh, the box, remember, it carries all the quartiles. Then we're going to have the last part of the whisker where we are going to the maximum value at the end. All right. So that is uh, what we are going to have. Remember here, we'll be having the minimum value here, the maximum value at the end. Then the first part here where the box is starting, 
here where the box is starting here. That is where we have got the lower quartile Q1. Then the median uh, value can be anywhere in within, in within. Q1 will be here. Then Q3 will be at the end. So here we'll be having Q3, which is the upper quartile. Q2, the median is in with anywhere in within. It can be somewhere here. It can be here. It can be here. Depending with the information that you're given. All right. So that will be our Q2, the median. So this is our box. And also these are the whiskers. So that is... Um, Guys, it's direct. Like I said, this is our grade 10 mathematics uh, review that you just need. So make sure you do understand all the basics that you had before. So I'm not going to waste your time, guys. Going to quickly go through some of the questions. Uh, you know how to draw this. So I'm just going to bring a question which has been drawn already. So this is our box and whisker that we are given. We are given that Mr. Brown conducted a survey on the amount of airtime in rats. Each student had and his on his or her cell phone. Each student had on his or her cell phone. So he summarized the data in box and whisker diagram below. This is the summary from what Mr. Brown conducted. So let's analyze our box and whisker plot. Remember, from the starting point of the year, of this whisker, what is represented going down is the minimum value that corresponds there. The minimum value of the distribution of the information that was the minimum 12. Going through to the maximum at the end. Maximum there at the end. As we can see this one, if we to take it straight. So let me try to take this one straight. It is like this. So it is going to be at uh, 65. If we're going to take this in between there, that is at what? 65. So this is our maximum, our maximum value. Okay? 65. Let's analyze the box. The box, remember, I've got Q1, Q2, and Q3. Q1 here. So let me also take that broken uh, part. Let me take it going down. So that was in between, like this straight. So in between, that's at uh, 17. So this value is 17. So that's our Q1, the lower quartile. Then the median, Q2. So you're going to take this one straight. Q2, which was at what? At uh, 30. So this is corresponding straight at 30 or median. Then uh, 38, this one is straight also at 38, which is our Q3, upper quartile. So that's at what? 38. We analyze our diagram. Properly. These numbers are very, very important for you to know them. If you check here, the question was 1.11. Write down the five number summary of the data. So these are the numbers already that we have listed, uh, that we have taken from the diagram, the minimum value, which is what? 12. Q1, and we take it as it is, which is what? 17, this one, 17. Q2, the median, which is what? 30. Q3, upper quartile, which is what? 38. 
Then the last one, the maximum value, which is what? 65, as it is. As it is, 65. So that was our information here. And the other part of the question, 1.12, determine the interquartile range, all right? So from our formulas, remember, we talked about this before, the interquartile range from the measures of what? Dispersion, Q3 minus Q1, upper quartile minus lower quartile. So this was going to be a direct, all right? So that's 1.12. The interquartile range is equal to the upper quartile, Q3 minus the lower quartile. So that was going to be 38 minus 17, okay? Which was giving us uh, 21, okay? So that is it. So remember, this is the amount in what? The amount in rand. So meaning to say this is 17. This is 17 rand. Oh, this is 65, 38, this and that. This is the amount in what? In rand. So those are the typical questions that you need to work with. Just make sure that you do revise as uh, many questions as you can where you do not understand. Access uh, the WhatsApp group uh, so that you can send your questions. Uh, let's work as many questions as we can. Question papers that you are having, those are best for revision. And also to join membership so that you do not miss any of the other classes that we are going to be having.